Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and a Miami homeowner dusted a punk who had broken into her home. Uh, she was a concealed carry owner, and she shot the punk as he was fleeing her house. Now the cops are trying to decide whether she should be charged. I would say not. Wendell and Jeanette can be forgiven for putting security cameras around her modest Miami home. She lives in Liberty City, a high-crime neighborhood and a high-crime town. Her low-slung duplex backs onto the railroad tracks and has been targeted in the past. She can also be forgiven for racing home when on Thursday afternoon her security system lured her to another break-in property. But can she be forgiven, according to the police, for fairly shooting a teenager as he fled her house, even as officers were on their way to help? Yeah, I've seen around here in an emergency, it takes them an hour to get where you are. That's the question that's now facing the state's attorney office. 17-year-old Trevon Johnson died Thursday night after Genre shot him once as he allegedly fled the house at the scene of the home invasion, according to Miami-Dade police. There have been no indications that Johnson was armed. The slaying of the teenage burglary suspect was reported triumphantly by local television station WSVN, said which said that Jenrette had turned the tables on Johnson. I'd say so. Police say this will be Robert chose the wrong home because this homeowner, homeowner did more than just jail, call the cops. She had a gun. But Johnson's family, and this is where it gets unbelievable, Johnson's family said the young man didn't deserve to die over mere property, which they said he hadn't even taken. I don't care if she, yeah, because she got there and pulled her gun out. I don't care if she had her gun license rights or any of that. This is way beyond the law. Johnson's cousin, Latika Harris, told CBS Miami way beyond. Law and home invasions and use of force, however, varies widely from one state to the next. Similar cases across the United States have produced starkly Different outcomes with some homeowners who shot intruders charged with manslaughter or even murder. Miami shooting comes at a crucial moment in debate over gun control in this country. In January, President Obama announced new executive orders to combat gun violence, angering gun rights ad advocates, and amid the incessant string of mass shootings, States continue to expand their open carry regulations. Uh, I'm going to go down here. Well, apparently it's not on this one, but what I've heard is well, I guess it, it was her the uh, punk's cousin who said basically that he needed money for college. It's supposed to be somewhere here. Let's we'll see if I can find it. Hang on. Alright, here it is. Listen to this. He was not supposed to die like this, Harris. His cousin told CBS he had a long, he had a future ahead of him. Trevon had goals. He was a funny guy, very big on education, loved learning. Johnson was a student at D.A. Dorsey Technical College, barely a block away from where he died. He also lived in the same neighborhood as his cousin, said Liberty City shared some blame in his death. You have to look at this from every child's point of view that was raised in the hood. No, I don't. Harris said, you have to understand, how's he going to get his money to have his, 
clothes to go to school. You get a job, that's how, you idiot. You have to look at it from this point of view. No, I don't. He was a crook and he got shot. Into the subject. She and other family members said that Genre did not need to shoot Johnson, especially since police were on their way. Yeah, I've seen how fast police are. They're on their way via the donut shop. She called the police already away and she had to shoot them. She didn't want little dirtbag getting away, that's why. She was tired of being having her place broken into. There's little clarity in the reports of what happened that afternoon after Jeanrette rushed home. It's unclear whether Jeanrette called the police or whether they were automatically called to the house by the alarm system. The police statement says she arrived prior to the officers and began to inspect the exterior of her home when a confrontation occurred with a burglar. The homeowner produced firearm and shot the subject. That's the end of the subject. There's no way in hell she should be charged. What's wrong with her? Johnson's sister, Nisha Johnson, told CBS she did not have to shoot him. Well, what was wrong with him? They was breaking in people's houses, you dimwit. Johnson had been arrested earlier this year, although the charge was not disclosed because he is a juvenile. He is a lobbering. He is a, basically a crooked punk who... Mm. Got a bullet because the homeowner felt scared and wasn't going to take a chance. As far as I'm concerned, she's justified. Florida goes far beyond the stand about your ground law, which came to focus 2012 shooting another 17 year old Trayvon. Martin and Sanford, Florida. Instead, in Florida, anyone who unlawfully and by force enters in or attempts to enter a person's dwelling, residence, or occupied vehicle is presumed to be doing so with intent to commit an unlawful act involving force and violence. She dusted him, as well as she should. That's the end of it, as far as I'm concerned. We can't tell these people that. Unbelievable. That this is allowed. I have no words. Uh, this dirtbag's family doesn't understand right from wrong. They just don't. Oh well, that's one less ro house robbing punk we have on the world. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.